Hello everybody and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to American Truck Simulator here on the channel. It's been a long time since we went on their ATS or even ETS2 for that matter. Um, but there's been some nice DLC release today. So today is the 11th of June 2019, the time of recording this. Washington DLC is out today, but at the time of recording this, it's not out just yet. Uh, but the Forestry Machines DLC came from nowhere and just dropped. So we're going to go ahead and check it out right now. We've headed up north in our one and only truck. This is a new profile for those of you that have uh, watched this on the channel before. Thought we'd start from scratch. Uh, so we're in a nice little Kenworth here. So we've already gone ahead and come to the pickup location. So what I'm going to do right here is jump into the truck. So once again, this is, uh, of course, Forestry Machines, hence the name. Um, let's go ahead and get the head tracking on real quick. All right, so head tracking's on. Let's go ahead and get the ignition on here. We're in reverse for some reason. Right, let's go. Uh, parking brakes on. Let's go ahead and turn our side lights on. Oh, we need our headlights today. So it's, uh, it looks like it's an evening time. It's not. It's actually bright and early in the morning, so we're going to have the whole day uh, to record this. So let's go ahead and get our parking brake off. I do apologize if... if uh, wait on, I forgot I'm using uh, automatic now. So I'm not using a manual gift, uh, manual shifter today like I usually do because this video is meant to be looking at the uh, the forestry machines DLC, not how bad my gear changing is. So let's go ahead and pull up in to the market here, get the handbrake on, and we'll see what we've got. Okay, so here's our log harvester. We're going to go ahead and accept this right now. Uh, we're going to get £7,000 for this. Trailer is ready. Proceed to the loading area. Where is it? Though? That's the question. It's not over there, is it? Please don't say it's over there. Right, let's get the parking brake back off. We are in drive. I have a horrible feeling it's down here, you know, which is going to be a bit of a git to get out. Oh, no, it's right there. There we go. So there is the actual machine. I'm going to go ahead, and once we've got the truck lined up, I'll go into camera mode so you guys can actually see the machine itself. This is just one of many, by the way. So uh, if we have time, if it's quite a short trip, we might do another one. Let's go ahead and get this lined up. And like I said, we're going to uh, camera mode. We'll take a look at it. So let's back up into here. I do apologize if you're the sort of viewer that gets a bit queasy watching people use head tracking. I cannot not use head tracking anymore. It's very annoying. Right, let's go ahead and put that back into neutral. We'll get the handbrake on. Cool. Let's go ahead and get it hooked up like so. And like I said, we're going to go into photo studio, uh, photo mode. And we'll take a look at the actual machine. So, you know the truck. You've seen the truck before. So this one here is... Looks like it's a Scorpion style uh, equipment. If you guys have played Farming Simulator, this is the one that actually cuts down the trees and cuts it into lengths of your choosing. Very nice. It is a oversized load. So yeah, this looks like it is actually just a, uh, a Scorpion style thing. It's obviously been debrand or debadged even, not debranded, to um, for copyright reasons. But we're all good. Trailer's the uh, default trailer that we're used to. Is a low loader. So let's go ahead, stop yibby yabbering, and uh, get this thing taken down. Right, okay, everybody, so we've actually scrapped that first job. Um, I did do it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to leave it in the video or not. We'll soon find out how long the video is. I might put it after this one, but we found a much better job now. So at least we got to show you the uh, the scorpion or the cutter or the saw, whatever you want to call it. We managed to see that. Uh, but like you see, we're now in an actual logging area, which is pretty cool. Um, so I think if I remember right, we're picking up a stump grinder. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get this now. We are in desperate need for fuel as well. There we go, stump grinder. Let's go ahead and collect that one. So yeah, the first job was uh, basically taking it from... Where did we take it from? It was from, from the dockyard? No, sorry, it was from the dealership, I think it was. To just like a machine... Um, distributor or something like that. It's basically a warehouse. Um, oh, that was what we were meant to be picking up. That red thing there. Obviously that one's being used, but that was one of the cargoes we were meant to collect. But we were too late picking it up. So we've come to this one instead. I'm currently looking for my stump grinder. So there's the trailer we could have picked up. Ah, there it is. So yeah, this one should be a lot better. Um, 
video wise and it's also more daylight now so you guys can see a lot better uh, we are in desperate need of fuel though that's the only thing right let's go ahead and get this thing into reverse here so yeah, this is definitely going to be the one we're going to be using in the video um, that's awful job of reversing the simulate let's go ahead and straight then up why are you going backwards if i put you in forwards it makes no sense it's because i didn't put it in properly that's what she said. Right, let's get this put in to reverse once again. We'll back up a little bit straighter this time, hopefully. Like so. Slower down. Awesome. So we're in. Let's get our handbrake on. Uh, we'll go into third person do this. So we'll hook her up. Like so. So once again, I'm going to go into photo studio mode here. We're going to photo mode and I'll show you the actual uh, implement. So I did actually show you another one, which was the... It was a excavator with a hydraulic pickup on it. I forgot to press record because I'm an idiot. But here we go. Here's the stump grinder. So obviously that um, completely demolishes the stumps in the ground. On a big um, bulldozer excavator style body. Pretty cool. Imagine it weighs quite a lot. We'll check that in a second. Right, so let's go ahead and jump into the truck first of all. Like so. Well, like I said, we are in desperate need of fuel today, so hopefully there's a fuel stop along the way. It's good that it's all animated. So yeah, we were meant to be picking up that red thing originally, um, but we were too late picking it up. So we've got this uh, stump grinder instead. I'm going to go the way we came, just so we don't have to try and do a little uh, sharp turn around there. Awesome. This is actually my first ever time in the logging area, by the way, so apologize if I uh, fanboy over the scenery. I have not been up this north yet. Once again, I'm still waiting for Washington, which is why we're having, uh, hovering around uh, this state here, Oregon. Come on. There you go. Struggling a bit. I might have to put the diff locks on in a second. And we're off. That little uh, wrecked truck there. It's pretty cool. So once again, if this is the only video one I'm putting on the channel, I've got to repeat everything I've already said once in this video. But uh, welcome to the channel. If you are new here, uh, I'm similar to gaming. I do wheel cam on most of my uh, most of my videos. Usually, if actually for the regulars, you may notice the shifter's back. We've not used a shifter for a long time. Um, I'm using automatic today in ATS because this is about the, uh, the forestry equipment, not how bad my gear changing is. So I didn't want to bother doing that. Oh, I think we're going to run out of fuel, you know. Hopefully there's a fuel stop along the way. But there's also a wheel cam in all my videos. You guys can see what I'm doing. Um, if it's a driving game, of course. Let's go ahead and put our Jake brake on here. I don't want to waste the brakes going along here. But I also don't trust ourselves so close to this edge. So we've got a few machineries that I've seen on the pack. I've only seen three of them so far in game. So we've got the Scorpion, which is what we picked up originally. But the driver's very bored and we were, it was all motorways, so... Uh, speaking of which, we are now on tarmac. Just slow down a little bit. We can go ahead and turn our lights off. I'm going to leave the side lights on, though. In 50 meters, turn right. So we do have um, the Google Maps UK voice installed on the navigation. Right. Right, let's just stop here. My brakes are a little bit sensitive, I think. Right, let's go this way. Our truck, our car was going to swerve into us then, and we're free. What a beautiful scenery we've got! It was again. I've not been up this north yet. I think the, I've been to Reading, and that was it. I've never actually been up in like the mountain area, which is pretty cool. Wow. But yeah, just sitting around today waiting for Washington. So we'll, once again, today is the eleventh. Oh, wow. There's a combine coming up here with a huge traffic jam. I feel sorry for those trucks trying to get their way up there. Yeah, but one thing I will say before we head off in time lapses, uh, that's another thing I do. Instead of ranting on for 20 minutes or whatever, however long the uh, journey is, I do time lapse most of my videos. Um, so you guys can see the whole thing. This here is the Logitech side panel, previously side tech. I have two of these. Um, I recommend these a lot. I'm not sponsored to say that. I just do think they're really good units. And I'm not going to show you on this road, but I can actually control the camera with this. You could do it if you're in cab. Of course, i got head tracking on, so it's not going to do anything inside the cab for me. But if I go into quickly here, control the camera with that, which is really cool. 
I do want to get one of those um, proper American Truck Simulator ones, though. I'm going to save up for one of them, I think. Can't afford one just yet. Um, they look pretty cool. It's a shame there's only the American configuration. I'd like the pull-down levers for the uh, ETS-2 as well. But yeah, we've got our... Well, the yellow buttons here are all of our lights and stuff. Uh, we've got the purple ones, which is our functions, like the wipers and the diff locks and stuff like that. And uh, radio as well is on here. In fact, no, I moved radio to the steering wheel, sorry. Um, you will notice if you've never seen this before and you go online, that there's a wheel, you can get a wheel package. Don't get the wheel. Actually, there's a copper in the middle of the road here. You have to come out onto the yellow line a bit. Not a very safe place to stop there, is it? So yeah, the, the machine that I've seen is the stump grinder, which we've got in the back now. Uh, the big red machine, which I forgot the name of, which is actually the um, the chipper. If we, I'm going to call it a chipper. Um, we also had the pickup. It's like an excavator with a pickup arm on it. And, of course, as you guys saw at the start of the video, the Scorpion. I'm going to call it the Scorpion because that's the uh, brand that I know by... Who is it? The Posse? Ponzi? Posse? Something like that. From Farm Sim. Another thing you're going to see me do in this video quite a bit as well is go to third person. If I don't usually do that when I'm playing ETS or, e e ATS or ETS2, um, but as soon as we're showcasing the trailers and the cargo, I'll be doing it quite a bit today. I was trying to get some more interesting ones, but like I said, it's very hard to um, to find one and get to that city or location in time to actually pick it up. Could have done quick job, but I wasn't 100% sure on all the names and stuff for them just yet. But right, I'm going to stop yabbering on, sit back, enjoy, and I'm going to catch up with you guys in just a second. Let's time lapse something. Okay, so we are out of fuel. Um, as you can see, we're sort of coasting down the road now. I'm trying to look for a straight place to stop um, that's not too dangerous. At this point in real life, we pretty much have to stop instantly because we'd have no brake pressure. But um, here's a pretty good place. This gives me an opportunity to show you a new feature in 1.35 as well, in case you don't know. So usually when you run out of fuel, you have to teleport all the way to the service station. No more. So let's go ahead and stop here. We use the trailer brake. For those of you that don't know, this big button on my side panel is the trailer brake, which is why you may have seen me pressing it in the time lapse. But let's go ahead and stop here. Let's get our hazard lights on. So new feature, we can go ahead and if I bring up the main menu, we'll go to F7. Uh, new services and adjust uh, view services and adjustments. What we can do now is emergency f refueling, and it's going to cost us 335, and we'll take 30 minutes. So we're just going to accelerate time 30 minutes, take 
$335 off us uh, and give us some fuel. Now, you've got to say some fuel, we will not be filled. Um, we literally have enough now to hopefully get us to a gas station. Hopefully being the key word. So let's go ahead and get the truck turned back on again. Let's take that off and we're away. let's get the jake brake off a second. Bit of a traffic jam cause there. They didn't go around us because they're not intelligent enough. But yeah, there we go. That's a brand new feature in 1.35, which I think is amazing. Uh, no longer have to teleport to the services and potentially you'd lose your job. Um, so yeah, a bit of a fuel. Once again, it's give us hardly any fuel, but it should be enough to get us to the service station now ourselves. Yeah, really neat feature. So let's continue. Hopefully we don't break down again. so we made it to a fuel stop however this load is uh, a little bit oversized hence the uh, oversized signs so I'm hoping we can actually get in here it is articulated so we should be okay um, tell you what, we're gonna go into this first one here if it will uh, turn in time so we made it to fuel station there we go that's uh, $335 off our bill but uh, or off our profit but let's go ahead and turn that on real quick get the engine off And um, we'll fill up. So yeah, pretty cool new feature. Uh, saves us get towing, uh, getting towed away even, and losing our cargo. It's pretty happy with that. Now we just got to fill up the rest of our tank. Right, we're good to go again. Let's go ahead and get the truck turned back on. What is that? I've never seen that before. It looks like they've changed the colour of the uh, Deer Johns. Of course, John Deer uh, tractors. I keep seeing them that colour now, so I'm wondering if they had a bit of an issue with copyright or just changed it to be safe. I don't know. But look, he's carrying a... Uh, was it that, do you reckon? Hay or an animal? It may possibly be even an animal itself. This is going to be very comfortable this turn. But we're nearly there. Once again... Oh, hang on, that's the wrong button. I keep pressing F2 instead of 2. Nice new cargo loads. I'm hoping we have to take this thing off-road. Not like a warehouse or anything. Right, can we go? Yeah, we're good. So there's a stop sign here, which I'm going to try and ignore since there's no traffic here. So I don't want to be uh, clogging up that junction. There we go. Full tank now, so hopefully we'll have no more breakdowns. Let's get to our location, shall we? Okay, so we're pretty much there right now. Uh, we'll just reach this town here, whose name I do not know. Let's see if we can make this corner without clipping the sides. This combine's going to make things very comfortable because he's kind of on the line. Actually, I think we're perfect outside. Yeah. Just scraped past there. Didn't even go on the curb. Well, that was very lucky. Um, but it's just up here, I believe. Our drop-off location. So, just like the one that I didn't end up recording, I don't think we have to park this for anywhere in particular. I think it's pretty easy to park up. I think they just tell you to put it there and that will do. If she gets up the hill eventually. There we go. We're at a lake. Very nice. What's this truck doing? What is this truck doing? A bit suspicious. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and gone on to Quick Jobs to find this one. I just want to show you. I'm not actually going to be doing it on camera. Um, is this where we were earlier? So this is not our truck, once again, I just wanted to show you. This is called a tub grinder. This one's pretty pretty big. Let's go ahead and go to Photo Studio and we'll take a look around it. Um, from what I can tell, this is probably the strangest one in the forestry pack. They're usually just excavators and stuff like that. This is the probably the most alien one that you'll see. So it looks like it's um, just basically a... I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know. Looks like we've got a, a pickup there for the logs and then a conveyor belt there. So it's probably just a chipper. I think it just chips it up. In fact, there's one working over here, but I don't think the uh, camera will let us go that far. So there's one working. Just over there, you see they're putting the logs into the middle there, and then it's coming out as chips. So yeah, it's just basically a chipper. 
Okay, so thank you very much for joining me in this video. If you guys did enjoy, please hit the thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more for myself. The link to this DLC will be in the description box down below. I get nothing from it. I just think SCS deserve the credit because this is a fantastic, uh, fantastic DLC. And also Washington will be out late as well, so that could be down there as well. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one. Navigation resumed.